to pull his red shirt, you know, and he played and he helped us beat Iowa State. And <clears throat> the running backs came back and he didn't play a whole lot game 12 or in the bowl game. So that's really not fair to him, you know. So, um, you know, that's an example of it. I could see, um, you know, young kids not being ready to play early and end up playing late. Uh, that's happened. I pulled David shirt, uh, David Sills red shirt game eight, you know, when he was a true freshman. Uh, you know, and then there's uh, guys that, you know, you think are ready and then the lights get turned on. You, you play them in a couple of games early and they're just not very good and they need to develop and they need to redshirt. So, you know, it, it could be an injury situation. It can be a development situation. Uh, I think it's good for the kids and it's good for the game. I mean, do you play a lot of guys early to see what they could do, or do you hold some guys back in case of injury? I'm not interested in playing guys early to figure out if they can play. I'm interested in winning the first few games. So I think, you know, uh, you know, we, we got a high-profile game, game one. I'm not going to put a kid out there and hope he's ready. So, you know, I just think every, you know, every kid's going to be in a different situation, and every team's going to have different scenarios where they use that rule. We were talking earlier about the, 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 the recruiting transfers saying that you needed to build depth and it was kind of a necessity. Has it changed at all from it's a necessity to, hey, man, this really works. I'm just going to keep doing it because it's it really. <clears throat> yeah, uh, when, when we changed our model, it was like you better do something different or you're going to get fired because mm -hmm. we're not very good. Mm -hmm. OK, and to the point to where that's that's just what's worked. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we figured out a, a, a good way of being able to do it, and you know, we, we've we've changed our recruiting strategy, and we've changed you know where we spend our money and where we spend our time, and you know how we research these guys, um, and, and it's worked. It's worked. So you know, if it works, you probably ought to keep doing it. Back to the injury report stuff. If that becomes a conference-wide mandate, would, so would you be opposed to? Giving it, even like you said, you don't want to talk about short-term stuff, but would, yeah. you, would you be opposed? Or? Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not changing how I deal with it because here, the truth of the matter is, I'm telling you, for an 18, 19, 20-year-old kid, they don't know how hurt they are. If it, if it's a long-term deal where he's going to get cut on, or you know, he's, he's got a broken bone or something like that, then I tell, I say it. You know, uh, he's not playing. You know, and he's going to be out approximately six weeks. Uh, if it's if it's an if it's a a, a sore calf, I mean, <laughs> I, that kid may. I mean, some of them are soft and they're going to be out three weeks. I mean, some of them are tough and they're they're not going to miss a game. So I'm not going to say he's out and then all of a sudden on on Saturday that that kid can play. I mean, Justin Blackman wasn't supposed to play against Oklahoma back game 12 or whatever whatever it was. He was in a boot uh, all the way up until Friday and he's a freak. And so all of a sudden he played on Saturday. I mean, if I was Tuesday and I had to guess, I would have said he's out, but that's my point. I mean, you don't know how these kids are going to respond. They're not professionals, they're amateurs, and they're still figuring things out. What if it was more of an availability report where each week you would list what, which guys were available and maybe not getting into change, specifics? Doesn't change my, doesn't change my answer. I, he may or may not be available. I mean, if, I don't know. I mean, I'd rather say I'm not going to talk about it. And I don't think the conference is going to change anything, you know, just because, you know, people are going to – what people are going to bet more on games. I think that's happening quite a bit right now, right? So it, where, where the money's distributed, that, that's for, you know, the, the court system to figure out. That's way above my head. It ain't going to change what I do or what I say. Okay, Coach, we have to keep uh, 